Follow all Moesu news on his website, www.mosu.com, on his Facebook and Instagram page too, for daily exclusive publications. Hello and welcome on Moesu. My name is Joel Borg and let's continue the topic about the Yamaha CK Basics and today we are going to uh, see what we can do on the filter and on the envelope generator. But just before to start, you can shoot me also on Facebook. It's called Moisture Instagram, Moisture Ferdin, and also on the website, Moisture.com. And if you are not a Moisture follower, click on subscribe and click on the bell to be informed when I release a new video. Okay, let's go for the today topic for people who perhaps do not know what is a filter and what is an envelope generator. I will explain to you. And even if you know, I think you can have some interesting things to learn about your CK that you can find on store, of course. Okay, what is a filter? So if you go in the kitchen and you cook something with water and vegetables, as an example, you want to separate them, so you use a filter to separate the water and the vegetables. So with the filter on the sun, we need to do the same things, but it's on frequencies of the sound, of course. So you can activate and activate the filter on the envelope generator. Let's go to the filter first. And when you activate the filter on the envelope, you can store it by your live set or the settings you down. I will put you some pictures on the screen, but you can see on the screen what happens. So if I move my filter button on uh, the left, I reduce the opening of the filter, so the frequencies, I will use the treble frequencies, and let's pass not more, but only the base frequency. So from my sound that starts to this, so this is not a level change, because I close some frequencies, so you will reduce the frequency, you filter them. If I go on the right, I enlarge. So there is more treble frequencies, of course. Easy to understand, isn't it? And what is the resonance? The resonance, when you reduce the frequency, you can add a peak on the top like this. You see the peak coming. It's a kind of metallic sound that you add on your uh, sound like that. Can we change the filter type uh, we have for this, no, you cannot. This is not the montage of the motif. This is not the YC. On the YC, you can, on the CK in Simplify, you have a type of filter dedicated to the voice type you have. I'm saying not for exactly the type, but the range that you cannot done things too, too EV, I will say, and it simplify all the way to work with it. If you want to discover and take it and or go deeper on your Yamaha CK or Yamaha Stage Keyboard, CP and YC, Montage, Modix, Modix Plus, or the John Miller software, because you have John Miller software for all these kind of keyboards and scenes with librarian and editors, you can ask me for a Moisture Masterclass. You have all information on video description and not video ending. So see all the videos. You have all the information about this. And... Also, for audio modeling, Camelot Pro, I can provide them all over the world. I cannot do this for the Yamaha Synths and John Melas, uh, because on audio modeling, I walk through the audio modeling platform that's open all over the world. And it's one-to-one -one on Zoom. You should topic we are going to work together. This is not a lesson when you need to learn A, B, and C, etc., etc. You choose the topic we are going to work. So, see the information about this. Let's go now for the envelope generator. If you do not know the envelope generator, normally you have the attack, the decay, one and two, the sustain, so all the sound stay when you keep the fingers on the keyboards, and the release when you remove your finger, or in time, I would say, to simplify the sound continue. Here, to simplify on the CK, 
He can be stored for his life set, of course, but you have an attack and a release. And in the same way, you have not some several slope or curve. You can manage each. You have a range dedicated for the type of the voice you are going to work with. Okay? And the envelope generator, if you go on the left, you see the sound is going to be a blooped percussive sound. You remember the string. And if you go on the right, slowly the attack. So the attack of the sound comes in a long time like that. Okay, so easy to understand like that. The release is OU, the sound release. So the release do not change. When I keep my keyboard, I keep my keyboard. It's like if you have a full system all the time, when you keep your fingers, huh? of course. But if I release here with on the left, it's short. You understand? It can be very short. Like a pump sound like that. But if you go on the right, you have a long time and it can be huge time without the end. I will do like that. Without my end. I do not have a sustain pedal connected. It's just the release like that. So in easy way, no curve, not a decay. So very, very easy to use like this. Okay. So this is the most information I have for you for envelope generators and feature. That's the bonus time. So for this bonus, I asked myself what I need to do on something not linked with the filter and the envelope generator. And I was thinking myself, it can be time to start some a little bit deeper things. And perhaps when you have tried your, your, your live set, you have tried to use the modulation wheel like that. And for the GPS string, you use something like that. Not easy because I change. Something like this. And you say, okay, that's nice, but where does it come and how does it work? That's what I'm going to explain to you on this bonus. So here we need to go on the settings because it's for each live set. We are going to go on sound on the first, on part A, because I have part A. And we go on the fourth line, just put on the white line, on modulation. And here you have four settings, pitch modulation, filter amplitude modulation, and modulation speed. I will say to be easy and quick modulation speed is the general settings. I can say you can enlarge the things like that. But you have pitch modulation. Pitch modulation is a kind of vibrato, I will say. It's like a vibrato. So you take uh, the tune and you move the tune around one value, one base value, I will say, like that. And here on this slice, we have only pitch modulation. So I like the Pac Man voice a little bit. So I can set to zero like this and no, I have nothing here. Yeah, I have nothing. So I can set a little bit of modulation speed to have something. A little bit. Okay. And you see the pitch. Let's go to the A, which is the amplitude modulation. This is the tremolo. This is the level, I will say to simplify, modulation around the base value. And if I change that, You can have this kind of effect and nice effect, huh? You see, um, just a modulation with through the two. And you see, it changed, taking on by the modulation speed to you don't go too much because you will have this kind of usually this effect. Why not? But, and you can go in the other way. <laughs> and you see, change the things in the other way. Why not? We can go like that. And let's keep a smaller value. Let's go, like we talk about the filter, let's go to the filter. And for the filter too, you can change the things and open up the frequencies. And you can do the things together, of course. Here I have the envelope modulation, the filter. Here I have only the filter. And the pitch is here at zero. So here, only the filter, no. So it's opening, closing the filter on the sun. So when you see something great on the modulation, we, that's come from here, generally. Yeah. You can do some other things with the controller. We'll do a video about this later. But 
most of the time you have the important modulation are here. In simply way, as you say, but it's a nice, I will say, introduction to the not sound design, but a little bit of going deeper in the sound. That's video ending. I hope you have liked it. I hope you find it interesting. If yes, please click on the blue thumb. It's very important for me to know that you like the content I provide. And it also helps for suggestions on YouTube where more you have. Like, like this. If you have really learned something, you say, okay, I want to add something to Joel as a masterclass on Moisture. And finally, with this video, I have learned something. I do not need a masterclass, but I really want to thank him for this. You have the super thanks. Activate bottom right of the videos. It's a kind of donation you can give me from $2 to what you want, of course. And it helped me to improve, to buy new gear, new camera, as example, or to renew the licenses for all the software I need because I work alone on Moisture and I need to do it by myself. So I have some software to update each year for new licenses and for renew the maintenance, I would say, licenses, etc., etc. So if you want to do this, if you have learned something, thank you in advance. If you want a Moisture Masterclass because you need to have a full, deeper Masterclass because you want some specific topic, specific example for your using, you can ask me information on video description and on video ending. See you soon. Bye. Would you like to discover, learn or improve your knowledge of your Yamaha synthesizer or stage keyboard? Book your Moesu master class now. Your private session is conducted online through Zoom. Take all benefit of Moeso expertise, Yamaha synthesizers and stage keyboard specialist for nearly 20 years and consultant for Yamaha Music Europe and France. As member of international Yamaha Tech Talk live team and host of the Camel of Pro sessions for audio modeling, Joel take care of your experience level. Whether you're a beginner or a skilled user, get the most out of your Yamaha synthesizer, stage keyboard, John Mela's software suite, or Camelot Pro. Book your session from the Moesu Facebook page, use slots available in the service tab, or by email, moesu at orange.fr. This service is available in French and English, only for users who live in European Union. Camelot Pro 1 to 1 Masterclass are available for users all over the world through audio modeling platform. Thank you for watching this Moesu video. Do not forget to click on like, subscribe, and click on the bell to be informed when a new video is online. Do not hesitate to write a comment or ask a question. See you soon. Bye.